Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Bryn and I'm here with my husband Casey. Hello. And um, today we're going to do a fun festive holiday Trader Joe's taste test. So we got all these snacks here and I'm ready to try these and let you guys know what we think. So what do you want to start out with? Um, oh, and by the way, I'm wearing like this big onesie because I just want to be cozy. It's really cold here right now, so don't mind that. Let's try the spicy snack mix first. <laughs> this? Yeah. Okay, we're going to try this spicy snack bar mix. And it's got a little picture on the side. And this is chili lemon corn nugget. Pastilla chile and sesame chips, spicy chile almonds, spicy cheese corn sticks, and sweet jalapeno pretzel pieces. So I don't really know what I'm grabbing. I'm just going to grab one. Hmm, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's got really good flavor. Mm. I'm good. It's I would really say it's not that spicy though. So like if you're worried about it being too spicy, it's really not that spicy. A little bit. Um, what do you, what would you rate this? Um, I give it 8 out of 10. It's really good, honestly. I like it a lot. Yeah, I like this better than I thought I would, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. So, there's that. Um, I think next we should try this drink. I already have it poured in our little glasses here. Um, it's the Sugar Plum Sparkling Beverage, and it's plum and white grape juice. And so, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> um, it kind of just tastes like grape juice, but kind of tastes like grape water. Like it doesn't really have much flavor. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I like that it's not too sweet. Yeah, I like that it's sparkling. I like, you know, like carbonated stuff. So I give it a six. Like, it's okay. Yeah, uh, I think like a five probably for me. It's okay. I probably wouldn't get, you get it again. But. Yeah, it doesn't have much flavor. It's like very mild. Okay, what do you want to try next? Um, how about the, the peppermint Jojo's? Okay. So, next is the dark chocolate covered peppermint Jojo cookie. And I'm going to be honest, you guys, I've actually had these before. <laughs> and if I'm going to get one thing during the holidays at Trader Joe's, I get these cookies. And don't even mess with the regular peppermint ones. You have to get the chocolate covered ones. So, this is what they look like. We'll probably split this in half. Yeah. Really good. I love dark chocolate. I give these a 10. <laughs> of I'm, course. I'm not as big of a fan of dark chocolate myself, but it is good. I mean, you know, if you're into dark chocolate and peppermint, it, it is very good. But Yeah, he doesn't really eat sweets, so. Which is not really my thing, but yeah, I don't know. I'd give it like a 5. 
A five? That's it? Those are so good. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I'm more of a milk chocolate person, you know? It's a little too rich. Okay. Okay, what do you want to try next? Um, let's do the, uh, truffle, truffle potato chips. Okay, so next are the white truffle potato chips, and these are organic. And, um, I'm not really into truffle, but, woo, they smell strong. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get the smallest little chip, because I know I'm not gonna like these. <laughs> Mm -mm. Oh, no, no. Mm. Those are not for me. I don't understand how people can eat that. It literally? I guess I'm not, like, cultured. <laughs> it just tastes like a Lay's potato chip, but with, like, a slightly garlicky flavor. I, I think they're really good. I think they're delicious. Honestly. I don't know. I just really don't like truffle. But if you do, I mean, the chip's nice. It's like a nice, thin, crunchy chip, so. Mm hmm Yeah. They, they taste like Lay's, plain Lay's, but slightly garlicky. They're really good. I'd give it like a 8 out of 10. I'd give it a 0. <laughs> I just don't like truffle, you guys. Okay, what's next? Um, I don't know, something sweet, maybe? Maybe this, um... The snack mix here. Okay, we're gonna go for this. Sweet and salty snack mix, a fun mix of chocolate drizzled and salted snacks. And it has mini peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets, half dipped chocolate covered potato chips, chocolate drizzled pop caramel popcorn, and roasted and salted Virginia peanuts. That's what it looks like. I'm really excited about, uh, the reason I got this is because it said chocolate covered potato chips and I thought that was really interesting. So, um, they're kind of small little guys, but. It's mostly popcorn. Is it? That's what it looks like. It's mostly popcorn, but I'm trying to find the potato chips. Yeah, they're kind of small. There we go. They just kind of taste like peanuts because they're like mixed in there with them. So the popcorn is really good. I don't see many peanuts, but they're fun in the bottom. No, that reminds me of this fiddle faddle. <laughs> Have you ever had fiddle fat? <laughs> That's what it tastes like. It's like Cracker Jacks fiddle with peanuts. Faddle. That's what it's called. Yeah. It's pretty good, but I guess. Mm, I give it a seven. Yeah, yeah, seven. Me too. It's pretty good. I mean, it kind of just tastes like caramel popcorn with like chocolate drizzled on top. Mm-hmm. What do you want to try next? Um, how about the mini gingerbread people? Okay. Next is these mini gingerbread people, gingerbread cookies with white fudge icing. Um, I thought these were cute. I don't know if I'm really like all that into gingerbread. I like soft gingerbread. These are probably gonna be hard, but. Kinda hard to open. Oh, they're big. Yeah, they're bigger than I thought. I can't really reach the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. They're very crunchy. 
They're very crisp and crunchy. Mm -mm. I think that tastes like exactly what you'd think it would taste <laughs> like. It tastes like crunchy gingerbread. I don't know. It's just a little too crunchy for me. I really like softer gingerbread. I haven't had gingerbread since I was in like school. <laughs> I don't know, that's okay. It's not terrible. They taste like a little stale, don't you think? I don't They're, know. Maybe if you like dunk them in like hot chocolate or tea, <laughs> it'd be good. Yeah, I don't know. Gingerbread's just not my favorite, I guess. I don't know, I give them a, I give them a five. They're okay. Yeah, yeah, I'd say four, four or five. If you really like gingerbread, I would say don't get those because they're, I don't know. I mean, they're just too crunchy. <laughs> okay, what's next? Um, how about the, um, how about these Thanksgiving pie chocolate truffles? Okay, Thanksgiving's over, but we saw these. Um, Thanksgiving chocolate truffles. And it has milk and white chocolate with caramel apple cinnamon filling. Milk and dark chocolate with cranberry ginger cinnamon filling. Milk and dark chocolate with salted caramel pecan filling. And milk and white chocolate with chocolate and vanilla creme filling. So it's like little pies, but they're chocolate. should have opened all this stuff before <laughs> filming, but, you know. <clears throat> okay, which one do you want? Um, hey, what are the, let me see the flavors. Wait, hold on. I want the, uh. I want to try the apple pie one. I want the. The caramel apple cinnamon one. That That's one. this one, I think. Oh, I guess we're going. We're both going for the caramel. Oh, are we? <laughs> oh, I'll try something else. I'll, I'll try the um, the chocolate and vanilla creme one. Okay. They're little tiny um, truffle bites. Oh wow! Look at. It. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. Mine has like gelatin, like pie filling in the middle. It's definitely a truffle. Mm. Woo. It's like almost sour. It's like so strongly flavored. Really? It's like straight up apple pie filling. That sounds good. I should have tried that one. <laughs> How's yours? It's okay. It's like one of those truffles that has like the like soft chocolate filling. Those are like the worst truffles, honestly. <laughs> you know like, what I mean? When you get a box, what a truffle is. When you get a box of chocolates and you get the one that has like just the chocolate inside. That's what this is basically. It's okay. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, they're chocolate, so. Yeah. I don't know. I thought mine was pretty good. They're fun shapes. <laughs> That's, I give it a, I give them, I don't know, a 7.5. Yeah. I don't even know how to rate it because it's basically just a chocolate. You know, <laughs> like, I don't know. They're cute. I mean, they're like pie flavored, so. I'll give it a six because the shapes are fun. <laughs> <laughs> so. That was that. That would be fun to like, I mean, Thanksgiving's over, but it'd be fun to like have those out for dessert on Thanksgiving, you know? Okay, we don't have that much stuff left, so what do you want to do? Should we do the protein bar? Okay, so I found this. Um, I get these protein bars all the time. I love the cookies and cream one. Um, but I saw this one, and this is a holiday crisp. And this one is just says with caramel flavor. So um, it's a protein bar, by the way. 
Oh, wow. What like. <laughs> I'm trying to show you guys this stuff, but you're so far away. So that's what it looks like. And the middle, I'm not really seeing a lot of caramel, but. This, re you know what this really reminds me of is a Twix bar. That's strange. <laughs> I don't even know what to describe. I think uh, it tastes like a Twix bar. Where, like you have the caramel and the cookie. I think that's what it tastes like. Hmm. I kind of like the cookies and cream one a little bit better, but this one's not bad. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty good. I give it a seven. Solid seven. Yeah, yeah. I like the, uh. The, like little crunchy pieces on the outside. Yeah, that's really good for a protein bar. Tastes like candy. Yeah, it tastes like a Twix bar, kind of. But, like, not as crunchy. Okay, what's next? All right, should we do the, the eggnog? I think we should save that for last, no? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know. I think we should do these, so... Apparently we had these last year and I just don't remember trying them, <laughs> but they are Thanksgiving stuffing flavored seasoned kettle chips. Flavors of the classic holiday dish in each potato chip. So it's stuffing flavored chips. <laughs> Do you remember liking these? Uh, I remember not liking them, but <laughs> but maybe I'm not remembering correctly and I'll like them. Um, they just smell like regular chips. Whoa. Whoa. That tastes like a whole Thanksgiving meal. Like, you taste the turkey, you taste the gravy, the stuffing, the mashed potatoes. It's so bizarre, man. That is so weird. It's like a whole Thanksgiving dinner in a chip. Honestly, they just, to me, they just taste like gravy. And I don't I taste particularly turkey. like gravy. Like turkey grease. <laughs> I mean, I'm having another one, so maybe they're not that bad, but. They're weird. Those are weird, for sure. I don't really like those either. Yeah, they're weird. And they're really salty too. Yeah. Um, I give those maybe a four. They weren't as bad as the truffle ones, but. See, I actually like the truffle ones better. You'd think I would like those because stuffing is my favorite thing at Thanksgiving, but it tastes more like gravy than it stuffing. It, to me, it tastes like turkey juice like mixed with gravy yeah yeah not not great i'd say yeah three out of ten okay so we're almost we're down to the last two items so i think we should do these chocolate covered pretzel twist assortment sorry guys we ran out of storage my phone keeps doing that it's really annoying but we only have two more items, so um, these are the chocolate-covered pretzel twist assortment. Dark chocolate with peppermint, dark chocolate with diced almonds, and milk chocolate with rainbow sprinkles. So these look really fun to like bring to a get-together, you know? I love chocolate pretzels. Fun fact, I can't say the word pretzel pretzel <laughs> i always say it wrong huh yeah yeah you do i don't know pretzel it's difficult for me to say for some reason which one do you want to try um which one do you, are you gonna have um, you want the peppermint try one the probably. same one okay yeah let's do it want to just try this one yeah sure so we're doing, gonna do the almond dark chocolate they're really cute they're huge. Yeah. 
I was expecting it kind of fell apart when I tried to just break it. Small now. pretzel. Mmm. Those are really good. There's like a lot of chocolate on there. Mm hmm. I like these. They're really messy though. Yes. Mmm. I wish that the pretzel <laughs> was a little bit like salty. That would be better. Um, so I give them an eight. They're pretty good. Um, I'd say like a five. Dark chocolate pretzels, not really my favorite, but. <laughs> I made a huge mess. If it's your thing, then you probably like them. Okay, the last thing we're gonna try, I'm really excited, is this eggnog. Old fashioned eggnog liqueur. Um, and I don't know why, but I've been like craving eggnog lately. I normally hate eggnog. So I'm probably not gonna like this, but I don't know, I just like really want eggnog. Okay, again, I should have opened this prior. Here, let me get it. I think I got it. Oh. All right, you have to get the plastic part off first. I made a huge mess with these pretzels. This is a little bit. Is that enough? And by the way, we're using the same glass as that plum juice, so it's probably going to taste like eggnog plum juice. <laughs> Might be okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Woo! That is strong. <laughs> like, alcohol-wise. Yeah. There's a lot of liquor in there. Yeah. I think it's more eggnog flavored liqueur than eggnog with liqueur. Mm -hmm. It's good, honestly. I mean, it's not too sweet. I always think I want eggnog, but then I have like one sip and it's just too sweet. So that's all I drink. So yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's not, it's, you can really taste the alcohol. Like, I guess I'm a very lightweight person, so I can really taste alcohol when I drink it. So that might be why. But the eggnog part isn't bad. It's, like, very smooth, creamy. It's not bad. I'm betting that's probably one of those things you probably don't want to drink a lot of. I, think, you probably... I honestly think you're supposed to, like, mix it into drinks. You know, like, this would be good if you mix it into, like, your coffee in the morning or something. Or not in the morning, but, you know. <laughs> Maybe at night, a coffee. Um, but, yeah, I think you're supposed to mix it in with stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good, honestly. It says it's real dairy cream, spiced rum, and French brandy. So, yeah. So, that was it. Oh, did we rate this one? No, not yet. Um... I give it a six. Yeah, yeah, six is fair. We probably won't drink this, you guys. Probably not. We don't drink a lot, so. He, like, never drinks, and I'll drink occasionally, but. Um, so, yeah, that was our fun little taste test from Trader Joe's. What was your favorite thing? Um, wow. Probably the first thing, the spicy, spicy Yeah, snack, I really right? liked those. That's um. Kind of okay. That was definitely my favorite savory thing because those chips were a disappointment. Um, and of course, I love the peppermint JoJo's and I really like those chocolate covered pretzels. pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, that was it for our Trader Joe's taste test video. Let me know if you guys picked up anything um, else that we didn't try and maybe we'll go pick it up and try it. Um, but yeah, so we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs>
Bye, guys.